So I have some very unfortunate news. I have to break to you guys. Um, we had a devastating loss in the family. Um, Shirni, Shirni was hit by a car and died. Um, we were out on a job doing pest control on a canal and um, she ended up chasing a fox and that fox led her um, pretty pretty far away from where um, where I was and she followed it till eventually they ended up on the road and she was hit and killed so I don't really want to talk much about it, details, but she's dead on impact. Um, it's pretty hard for me. Um, she or me was what I like to call my right hand man, my right hand dog, whatever, however you want to put it. Um, She's more closely ingrained in our family than than any of my other dogs. I mean, we took her all the way down to Central America when we went on vacation, you know? I mean, she, I mean, all my dogs are part of my family, but she's really a special part of our family, I guess, is the way to put it. Um, and I really rely on her for a lot. You know, she's a good friend. She's a good friend of my little girls, to my wife. She's very helpful. You know, if I ever lost a mink, I could ask her where it was. She could, you know, she's great at covering the canals. She could, you know, she's better than the other dogs at finding things with her nose. and, and the, I mean, the biggest thing was I could guide her, I could ask her, hey, go over here, go over there, do this, do that, and she, you know, understood me and, and was more than happy to oblige. And it's really hard whenever I lose any of my animals, and it's just how, how it is. But, I mean, she was especially dear to our hearts and especially close to me. I always pictured her growing old and you know, slowly deteriorating with age, as, as any animal does, person, you know, any, any creature does, I guess. And we'd be able to, you know, have her be with us into her old old age. And I wondered, you know, how long would she last? And would we have to retire her? Or could she still kind of do certain jobs just more slowly? You know, I just, I've always kind of thought of how her last days would be. And this wasn't, this wasn't what I expected her last days to be so abruptly ended. Not sure if I'm gonna enable comments on this video, to be honest. If I do choose to disable comments, I apologize for anyone who wants to, you know, share their best wishes, but I, I really don't wanna think about it. I don't wanna read through the comments. I don't wanna have comments to read, to be honest. So I haven't decided yet whether or not I will disable comments. And part of the reason is especially because of the, there's always at least a couple super inconsiderate, rude people who like to find fault or mock people in their misery. So I don't, I don't know that I want to have that, give that opportunity to those types of people to mock me in my time of sorrow or point out how I could have done things different or whatever they like to do. So I may or may not allow comments for this video, but um, I really don't want to talk about this further. This has been painful enough. Um, let's just end this with, um, I'm going to make a little collage of videos of Shirini's life, mostly her younger life, leading up to now, um, the, 
Some of the footage I'm going to use I haven't shared before just because I didn't really know how to use it. it was just, but most of it's going to be stuff you guys would have seen if you have carefully watched my videos and, and didn't miss them. Um, I guess to answer the questions that I know I'm going to get, um, I don't know when or if I will get another Malinois or Dutch Shepherd. Um, if I do, probably won't be soon. It's a little too, a little too much to get another dog that looks like her, but won't be her. So I'm not going to do that very soon. If I do it at all, just I know that will be one thing you guys will wonder. Um, So, um, I'm going to show the little collage of videos in memory of Shirni. Appreciate you guys' love for her. And I'm sorry to break your guys' hearts too. Okay, so we're here at Logan House Kennels. And um, based off of Breeder's recommendation, we've narrowed it down to these three pups. And little White is his favorite. <laughs> you can tell she's a she's a scrappy little thing, huh? We're gonna go run him through some tests that they wouldn't have gone through. One thing that I really liked about the black collar pup is she had a lot more drive than the pink collar. She would attach herself to my leg and just hang and shake and hang and shake. And she never got tired of it. I really like that determination and little extra feisty attitude. Another thing I noticed about the black collar pup that I really liked is she was much stronger and had far better balance than the little pink collar pup. So that's that's why, and the fact that I was able to find ways to finance it, I flew all the way out here is because this is just weird little quirky stuff that you test everything else. If you notice, I haven't even asked you how they bite. I haven't even asked you to show me how they bite because I already know. You're gonna tell me how it is. And you could have told me that over the phone and just get it, but all this weird little goofy, quirky. Yeah, sure. This is why I flew out here. <laughs> huh, and I really like what you're showing me a lot. Little, little, I almost called her little man, little girl. So we made our decision, finally picked my pup. Now I gotta pick a name. So I really like this pup. The reason I chose her, she's got good solid drive. And as you saw in the video, she was way more comfortable with crashing through brush. They were all pretty equal in water. She maybe had a slight edge, but it might have just been opinion rather than actual fact she had a little edge. But definitely had an edge in the brush. Way more comfortable climbing up on stuff and crashing through the brush, and I liked that. Right after being picked up at the airport, we stopped at the pet store to pick up some toys. This was a good opportunity for introducing Olive and the puppy. It is important that they both learn how to appropriately interact with each other. Olive needs to learn how to move so as not to encourage the puppy to bite her, and the puppy needs to learn that biting and jumping on Olive is inappropriate. Okay, Olive, stand still. Stand still. Stand still. There you go. If you run, she wants to grab you. Let's go find some toys for the puppy. Yeah, let's go find toys for the puppy. Giving her an appropriate outlet helps her to channel her natural desires in the right direction, rather than frustrating her by always telling her no. It's an Another one to rip it? That's an alligator, actually. Oh, she likes to coon. Look at that, she likes to coon. She says, I'm a coon dog, I'm throwing it already. Oh, there it goes there. So today we're doing a little pest control job. Uh, these guys have some bit of a rat issue. They've been eating some dog food and uh, we got uh, a couple new pups that are here today just for experience. They're not going to be doing anything. We've got little Miss Penny. That's David's dog. She's a little uh, German, German short hair pointer. And then we have Shirni, my little new pup. She's just here to observe just like uh, little Penny. 
So anyway, we're gonna get started and uh, we got a couple things we gotta organize a little bit before we turn the mink loose. And uh, let's get going. What we're doing now is we're just gonna, there's a lot of the stuff laying around and we're just gonna get this stuff out of the way so the dogs aren't tripping over it and the rats aren't hiding under it. So let's just kind of organize things over here. I think we'll be good. Oh, go girl, get over, help me pull. Go girl, go girl, go girl. Grab onto something. Yeah. Oh, trying to attack the shovel. The That's my shovel. Oh, my shovel. Shiny, not attacking the shovel. <laughs> no attacking the shovel. We don't need to attack the shovel, you cute thing. Put that in my pocket. She's like, that's yeah, moving. I must grab it. Bucket. Okay. Oh, that was close. You got to get it all the way in there. Bucket. 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 Oh, you're so oh. close. Your aim's a little off. Daddy, this is gonna... Bucket. Bucket. Shuni. Shuni, bucket. Bucket. Oh, no. good dog. Oh, good dog. Oh, that's a good girl. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 that's a good girl. Yeah. Oh, that's a good girl. Her coat looks really shiny and healthy. Oh yeah, it's because she eats real food, huh? You don't eat fake food from the store, huh? You eat muskrat and beaver and rack all this good stuff, huh? Shiny bucket. 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 Good girl. Good dog. Oh, that's such a good dog. So let's see if she can listen to what I'm asking rather than just go through the motions. Bring it here. Good girl! First time! Look at that! Perfect! Now let's see if I can get her to put it in the bucket from here. Bucket! 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 Good girl! Oh, did it go in? I can't see no. it. Bucket! Sorry, I thought it was in. Bucket! Good girl! Good girl! Come here! Oh, good girl! Oh, good girl! Yeah! Oh, good girl! Yeah! Oh, that's such a good girl! Okay, one more rep! One more rep! Bring it here! Bring it here. Bring it here. Good girl. <laughs> she's got it. Oh, she's got it. Yeah, she's got it. Oh, she's got it. Oh, girl. Oh, that's such a good girl. Oh, good girl. Bucket. Bucket. Good girl. Good dog. Oh, good dog. Yeah, she's putting it in the bucket. Bring it here. She's, <laughs> she's like, I'll do it before you ask. I already know what's going on. Good girl. Good girl. So today we're going to start doing some uh, training for Shuni to find the mink outside. We've done a little bit over, around the house, both inside and outside the house in the yard. So this will be your first time out in the field tracking the mink. She's out traveling like I was hoping she'd do. Far side! Uh uh! Uh uh! She's up here on the canal, so I'm gonna guide her back down. Get down there! Far side! Good girl! Just kind of tell her a little bit what to do and a little bit have her guide me and guide her a little bit. We'll just do make sure the two. Where's the muskie? Good girl. 
this is how we plan on doing this eventually. Where's the muskie? Ah, uh -uh, far side. Good girl. Is just have her uh, searching for the muskrats while we follow her. And that hole's coming up. Let's see what she does. Uh, she just passed it. Oh, good dog. Good dog. She stopped right on it. Good dog. Good dog. Yep, even a little dig. Perfect. Good dog. Good girl, did you find it? Good girl, did you find it? Good girl, just perfect. Picture perfect, your first time. Good dog. You just summon that pipe? Yeah, I do. I think you could lift it up, can't you? Is that, can they get out from that side or is it blocked? You know what we should do? We should block both ends and take it out in the field. <laughs> Let's I'll see. I'm sure we can lift it up and, and carry it out in the field, like out in the driveway. Did you see the trailer? Yeah. Got another one. Okay. Oh. Rats! This big brindle dog is named Shurnee, and she's just a little nine month old puppy. This is her first time ever catching a rat. As you can see, she has a lot of learning and developing left before she's very proficient at it. Get up. Easy. Good girl, good girl. Come on, easy does it, slow and easy, come on. Good girl, slow and easy, good girl. Keep coming, good girl, yes, slow and easy. Good girl, good dog, slow and easy, come on. Good girl, slow and easy, come on. Easy, come on. Oh, good girl, good girl, good girl. Oh, that's a good dog. Oh, that's a good dog, oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Yeah. That's a good girl. Good girl. I don't want that dumb boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, pull? Yep. Sorry. Another one. Good! Shh, jump! Voila, perfect. Boom, another come forward. Get all that. Oh, it's on the other side of the fence. Look at that. Far side. Far side. Far side. Far side. Come on, get over there. You can't pull it through the fence, dog. Far side. Cheerney, far side. Over, over. Far side. Far side. Far side. Far side. Come on, get over there. You can't pull it through the fence, dog. Far side. Over. Oh, it's fine. Or you can pull it on this side, maybe. Get all of it. Get all of it. There you go. Hey, good girl. You did pull it on this side.